Do you remember summer movie season? When you almost prayed for a rainy day to sit in a cool, dark theater with an icy sweet soda and salty popcorn and watch the latest summer blockbuster. They had to look fun enough to tempt you away from long bike rides, beach days, and a hundred other activities you could enjoy in those precious three months of summer vacation. And they delivered. Pop quiz, hot shot, and did Did you ever want to dress up like your favorite character? Well, that's what this video is about. Hi, this is Kara from Darling Bulgarity. Today I'm going to talk to you about Vixen. Vixen is a brand by a woman named Micheline Pitt, who is a total bombshell and doesn't need to make a size inclusive brand, but she does and for it I am thankful. I was just going to do a straight up Vixen video, but then I decided what really makes me love Vixen is the movie recreations she does. Micheline Pitt is a filmmaker and you can also tell she is a film lover. And while I am not a filmmaker, I am a huge lover of film. And it seems that Micheline Pitt and I have similar tastes because I tend to support every movie release <laughs> that she puts out. And I think they are just such high quality. I love that they're size inclusive. I love that they care about their labor practices. I'm gonna show you a few of the pieces that I totally geeked out over and I hope you like them. The Labyrinth collaboration was sort of my introduction to Vixen. I feel like there's just something in my brain, like a sonar for the Labyrinth. And anytime something Labyrinth comes out, I'm like, <gasps> Jareth, Ludo. So I was really excited to get this dress. This is an amazing dress. It is satin, double lined, so there's a lot of structure. A subtle V in the front, and then the skirt gathers so that it's nice and full. There's these nice velvet bows at the top, which are also a little bit stretchy. And I was a little worried, honestly, that having the elastic in the straps would make the dress sort of fall, but it doesn't fall at all. You don't even need the straps. This could be a strapless dress. It's so structured and it really just hugs you. So I actually think the straps are a really nice touch and it makes them very comfortable that they're velvet lined. It's about a knee length. Underneath the top layer, there is one layer of creoline for fullness and a bottom layer of a stretchy, super soft satin fabric that sits against your skin. It zips straight up the back. And the best part about this dress, the artwork on this dress was done by Iris Compiet. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Iris Compiet. She was an apprentice of Brian Froud. If you are into anything fantasy or anything fairy, and you don't know Brian Froud, please look him up. You will not be disappointed. But he actually had a hand in creating some of the characters in the original Labyrinth movie. He worked with Jim Henson. Printed on this dress is a painting by her. You can see the top is this beautiful pastel sky. You can see that Jareth, as the owl, is flying. And then as we go lower down, here is the Labyrinth. Ludo there in the center. Hoggle is over to this side. It is such an intricate piece of art. It's like a tapestry on your dress. And just the more you look at it, the more characters you start to recognize, the more detail you see. It's so, so beautiful. I'm wearing the dress in an extra large. Also in an extra large, I got this layering piece. This is one of Vixen's standard designs. It's their wrap top. This one was made for the Labyrinth collection and it's a nice olive green velvet that matches these straps perfectly. So when they release the Labyrinth collection, they have this dress as just a skirt that you can buy. So I think they released the wrap top as a layering piece to wear with the skirt. But I have found that I love this top as a layering piece over the dress. So it's perfect to make the dress a little bit more fall, winter, chilly night friendly. And since the bows on the straps of the dress match the wrap top perfectly, you can have them hanging out of the wrap top and it looks like part of the top, which I don't know if they intended to do, but probably. And it's such a nice subtle touch, like, wow, way to 
think the whole outfit through. Thank you, Vixen. This is one of those outfits that when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, I have wanted an outfit that makes me look like Alabama Whirly from True Romance since I was 10. This is the starlet top in mint green. It's in an extra large. And I think it's actually a nice turquoise color, which to me is very Alabama whirly. The pants, the pink leopard print pants that are just so iconically Alabama. <laughs> so not only were these pants cute and just a total must have for me, they are some of the best fitting pants I own. Michelin Pitt makes amazing pants for women. This is what the top looks like. And the material might be the same as the Maneater Wiggle Dress because it has some give, but it's also a very heavyweight structured material. The pants zip up the back. They also have some elastic in the back for a little bit of extra give in the sizing. So the pants are also an extra large. So if you want to be like me and make all your Alabama whirly dreams come true, find this cute ass outfit. <laughs> The Rebel mini skirt in cow print is another stone cold gem from Vixen for all of us Alabama whirly lovers out there. And it has pockets. Again, it's the same material with a little bit of give, but a lot of structure. It zips up the back. There's a little bit of elastic. You can see it hits above the knee, but it's not too many. There's definitely full coverage in the back of the skirt. Honestly, when I first got this skirt, I was like, what am I gonna wear with a cow print skirt unless I'm wearing my Alabama Whirly outfit? And actually, surprisingly, it goes with so much stuff. You can wear just a classic white tee with it or black. And then I also love throwing a band tee on with it or just like a vintage t-shirt. And then you can throw on a pair of Chuck Taylors with that. And you have this easy, fashionable, casual summer outfit. Highly recommend. Okay, I won't linger on this one too much, but Edward Scissorhands was my favorite movie when I was like an adolescent and just starting to have feelings about boys. I had big feelings for Edward Scissorhands. I don't know what that says about me. I wanted to be Winona Ryder dancing in the snow so badly. Obviously, Micheline Pitt felt the same way because she recreated the ice dancer dress. The studio gave her the rights to make an Edward Scissorhands collection and part of it was this ice dancer dress recreation, which also has pockets and it is just the most beautiful dress. The inside is lined with like a silky material. So the whole thing is lined. It is really amazing quality. So again, I'm wearing an extra large. You can see it has the satiny lining in the neck with the buttons down the front. The bodice comes into a subtle V shape right in front. Like the others, it zips up the back. It has a nice polka dot mesh white overlay. And then that is over top of two layers of creoline to add fullness to the skirt. And then the bottom layer is this nice, stretchy, comfortable, satiny material that is very soft and has some give. So you're not walking around feeling totally restricted and like you can't eat a meal. It's just beautiful. <laughs> It's so soft, so comfortable. You could honestly wear this as a bridal dress. This is like a really nice high quality dress. So you can't get this one anymore, but if you find it on the secondhand market, snatch this baby up. Vixen has a lot of really amazing staple pieces and I wear them every day and I have a lot of them. So if you want me to do a video about those, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just gonna focus on the pieces that I think are the most fun. This is one from the Catwoman collection, the early 90s Michelle Pfeiffer version of Catwoman, which, chef's kiss. This is just a top. They also have it in the dress form. Again, I'm wearing an extra large. It's super stretchy, very, very soft. I'm wearing it with the pair of Vixen pants as well. This style of top is called the bad girl top. Vixen releases it in a number of colors and a number of prints. I really loved the Catwoman one because again, Batman Forever was just one of those movies that I loved as a kid. And I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was the coolest. And so I saw this top and I was like, yeah, yeah. That's healing my inner child, that top right there. Well, me and my little brother were big movie watchers and we would go over to my grandmother's house sometimes and I think she would just 
buy whatever VHSs she saw when she was out that were on sale that were really cheap and as long as they weren't rated R she would just buy them and throw them on her shelf so we would have something to watch. So her house is where I found all of the old Universal monster films and I would sit at her house and watch them. I think that and the Angelica Houston version of The Witches, the Roald Dahl adaptation, were like the first real horror movies that made me a horror fan. This is Vixen's monster print. It has Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Uh, I think this is probably the Gypsy from the Wolfman. Oh, there's the Wolfman. It's got bats, it's got bones, it's got vampire fangs. So I saw this print again. This is another bad girl top. And I just love this. My son is only three, but he is already a horror lover in his own right. He's really into like the old Disney black and white spooky scary skeleton cartoons. And he loves Nightmare Before Christmas. So I bought this shirt actually because I knew my son would like it and I love it too. <laughs> I think the shade is something that I would never normally go for but it's so fun and bright. And again, the material is very stretchy, very comfortable. This is another extra large. I love the high neck that it has. I don't know if you noticed my earrings, but these are also Vixen and they are a recreation of Barbie's earrings. They make them in silver and in gold. This is the silver pair. Even though they look really chunky and substantial, they're actually extremely lightweight. I totally forget that I'm wearing them. Vixen has a lot more movie influenced clothing. So if you saw anything you liked in this video, definitely go check them out. And I haven't even mentioned La Femme and Noir. It's Micheline Pitt's other brand in which she has a partner and they also do collaborations. They are more on the vampy end of things, very feminine goth. I also absolutely love them. They've done a Dracula collection. They've done a Crimson Peak collection. They've partnered with Vampira. I have many pieces from them and I'll probably do a similar video to this. So leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite Vixen pieces are, what your favorite movies are. I know I like to think about collaborations that I would love to see either Vixen or La Femme Noir do. One of them is Penny Dreadful. If you've never seen Penny Dreadful, it was a TV show, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago starring Ava Green. It revisited all of the original universal horror monsters. So there's a character in it that's the Wolfman, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein. And it was also set in Victorian England. So it has a very Victorian goth aesthetic. That's my collaboration wish that I'm putting out into the universe. Let me know what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.